What's up guys, my name is John Parker with Vital Metabolic. I'm here at Locomotion Athletics in San Diego, California. When I design mobility programs and warm up programs for my clients, I like to make sure that we hit all of the major joints to disallow any injury from happening. Now, with that said, sometimes I like to just go overboard and make sure the body's completely warmed up, just again, to avoid any potential injury. Now, one of my favorite tools is one of the most simple tools, a dowel rod. This is basically a broom handle. This is a little bit nicer, nice length. I like mine about six feet, maybe even seven feet. I'm gonna show you the dowel rod routine I give a lot of my clients, and anytime I do upper body, do the same routine. So, first exercise. I'm gonna have an underhand grip and an overhand grip. Left hand is underhand. I'll step forward with my left, and I like to think of stand-up paddle boarding. What I'm gonna do is try and mobilize the pack. I'll start at the top, getting a good stretch, pulling back with that upper shoulder, and I'm just gonna row right next to my body. You can see that left shoulder is getting a really nice dynamic stretch. And knowing that we need dynamic stretching before a workout rather than static stretching, this is really my go-to to get into that pec. So I'm right at about 10 reps. I'll have clients do anywhere from 10 to 20 reps. I'll go into my right side and then show you guys the next exercises. So again, what I like to really focus on is using my upper right shoulder to pull back. That way this has to release. Okay, it's reciprocal inhibition. A couple more reps. Okay, great. Next one, shoulder dislocates. When you do a dislocate, you generally wanna start pretty wide until you gain great mobility. Also, I'm just holding it with these two fingers right here just to make sure I can go all the way beyond my head. So I'm holding in hollow position. I'm not arching the back. Go all the way back, okay? That first one was a little bit easy for me, so I'm gonna scoot the arms in. I'll go again. Now, my main focus on this, someone with really tight pec muscles, I'm using my shoulder blades to really make sure this dowel rod goes all the way back. I'm trying to disallow any clicks from happening. I'm having those shoulder blades really pull me backward. So, think a little bit of scapular elevation all the way into depression. My shoulder blades are touching throughout. I'll hit about 10 to 15 repetitions on this movement and then move on to around the worlds. Holding the dowel rod the exact same way. There are a couple ways to do this. We can start a little bit stricter. I'm gonna bring my right arm and then I'm gonna mirror that with my left all the way around. I'm making sure to tuck the tailbone kind of in that hollow position so I'm not compensating with the low back. As I warm up a little bit, I actually like to do some transverse turns into this one just to get a little bit of spinal rotation. Okay, so finishing this guy up, couple more reps, and I'll do the same thing with the other side. Maybe I'll go five repetitions, a little bit stricter, keeping my body nice and straight. Okay, we'll go one more, and then I'm gonna rotate all the way around, really moving that spine, allowing the shoulders a lot of free motion. Okay, I'll do one more rep. Okay, you might have a stiff low back like I do after strength and conditioning all week long. What I like to do next, put it on my back just like a barbell or a yoke. I'm gonna do frontal plane flexion. Just loosening up that lumbar area. Okay, I'll do about 20 reps total. Feeling good. Okay, moving on. Now, you can easily do this exercise from a standing position, that's my preference. You can also do this from a kneeling position. Now, what I wanna do is make sure I'm all the way into my T-spine, my thoracic spine, really opening up. So now that I don't have the hips really helping me out too much, I can really feel this. One tip, look over the shoulder with your eyes and pay attention to if one side opens up more than the other side. If that's happening, you might need a, a couple more repetitions on that tight side, okay? Always trying to keep the body in balance. Okay, great. So I'm feeling nice and loose. I wanna go into a couple more exercises. These may not be appropriate for you, but they may be appropriate for you if you're so tight that you can't get into the, con into the positions needed for the exercises that you're about to engage in. So, my first one, getting into the rotator cuff. 
We're gonna grab it on the inside handle. I'm gonna use the other hand to leverage out. Now I'll use my opposite hand to kind of push forward. Just as a static stretch, I wouldn't recommend holding it for too long. Maybe about 15 seconds of an active stretch can give you a lot better internal or external rotation when you're doing barbell or kettlebell movements. All of this for about 15 seconds, staying active, and then go into that same position out of horizontal abduction. Okay, that one feels great. So let's match that on the other side. Again, you're grabbing the inside, kind of an awkward position in the beginning, using this hand for a little bit of leverage. I definitely feel this side is tighter from a previous injury. Uh, this definitely helps me open up, okay? Into that horizontal abduction. Okay, so moving on, another static stretch you might be able to do, more of an active I should describe this. Just like in PE class, we're gonna put it over the top of our head. Now, what I'm gonna try and do is spread the handle apart. So I'm actively pushing up with my right hand and pulling down with my left hand. And by doing so, I'm getting into the tricep and I'm also getting into those internal rotators of the shoulder. Okay, I really feel this in my interior deltoid. Okay, I'll switch sides. Definitely feel that right side is a little bit tighter. My right shoulder feels like it's really stretching out. Okay, hold that for about 15 seconds. Really actively pulling up and pulling down. Finishing up. And that feels good. So I'm ready for any of my upper body exercises. I feel some blood shooting through all the way to my fingertips. Feeling really good. So guys, this is the dowel rod routine. Uh, enjoy this, make it your own, and experiment as needed.